uh, I want to talk about some uh, weird uh, scientific or uh, uh, technological discoveries that uh, have come our way, but uh, uh, they have been hidden for many, uh, many years. And uh, also uh, the human tendency to uh, hide uh, scientific or uh, technological uh, discoveries or treasures and just use them for the, their own group or their own self, like uh, for military purposes and uh, you know let other people uh, what they don't know about it and they will never know until we decide that uh, they need to know and uh, uh, or such uh, scientific discoveries uh, are, uh, are um, no more value because everybody else has that technology well uh, uh, when i was uh, <coughs> studying in, uh, in college i was studying uh, uh, fluid dynamics and uh, uh, there was a there was a, a course that covered the the concept or a method is called the dimensional analysis that you you, you look at the phenomena and you uh, pick out the most important uh, variables or that affect that phenomenon say for example fluid flow or and then uh, you write formulas, uh, hypothetical formulas, and then refine those until you get to the real formula that governs that uh, behavior. And well, they did, did that with many uh, phenomena, many uh, processes. But that's uh, a very hard uh, way of uh, discovering uh, laws or. Uh, discovering uh, technologies is it's like uh, going to a uh, brick wall and just banging your head against the brick wall at some point the brick wall is going to get indented and it might break if your head doesn't break first because <laughs> a lot of phenomena are, are very difficult and they uh, they don't yield to uh, uh, this method uh, of trial and error or uh, making hypotheses or theories and then testing them and then coming back and refining until you get to the solution. Yes, uh, what if uh, you discover technologies or uh, processes that, uh, that didn't even belong to humanity, like they were from uh, uh, out of solar system, but uh, then you knew that the government is hiding it in some lab or some drawer and then it just uh, makes it uh, kind of futile to pursue uh, uh, the line of work as it was going on, 60s and 70s. Uh, I, I totally hate and despise the stuff that the U.S. government does. Uh, everything they do is so totally uh, stupid and entirely dedicated to their militarism. I, I was listening to some... Uh, uh, stories or uh, videos on uh, uh, Apollo missions to moon and they had discovered a lot of uh, very interesting things and in fact they, they discovered there had been a civilization or there is one now on the moon they discovered structures and uh, even uh, robots and then uh, the, the government uh, I hid that stuff for like 50, 60 years. The only reason that we are finding out or discovering this stuff is because of the internet and uh, the fact that uh, many uh, servers or computers or groups of individuals are connected. There are search engines you can uh, study or uh, or search for uh, ideas or, or videos that are on uh, topics that are very far out. Uh, I, I'm discovering stuff that just blows my mind. Uh, well, uh, for example, uh, I discovered uh, like uh, there is a series, uh, C. Ron Garner talks about uh, uh, aliens or extraterrestrials and uh, they call them greys. Well, uh, 
what I found out from this video is that this is a very real phenomenon and it, ha it has happened and these uh, grays are really uh, traveling from uh, future into our uh, present time and it just brings out the question how is this possible that uh, time travel is possible whereas uh, when I was studying this stuff I was studying quantum physics like 20 years ago this whole concept of time travel was like so bizarre, so out of this world that it looked like it uh, could never happen. Then another thing I discovered that is that the, the Germans, they had a very advanced anti-gravity uh, technology that they, they had gotten it from Grays in the 1939 or 38, and I also found videos showing the earlier models like uh, Hannibal and then uh, uh, it's just uh, there's just so much information and so many discoveries that have been uh, have been suppressed it just if I was uh, somebody who was writing textbooks I would like revise many of these textbooks they, they totally suck all these discoveries and they help uh, people uh, to learn uh, new sciences like uh, you know, branches of uh, quantum physics because they are so interesting, they are so uh, novel, they are something that doesn't belong uh, to our time, they are not even our discoveries, they are discoveries of other uh, creatures or, or future, uh, future uh, humans and then uh, just uh, it, it, it looks to be such a waste and uh, the other thing that is very bizarre with humans and even our scientists is that they got these narratives of everything that goes around that belongs to uh, age of uh, Darwin and uh, then th there is all these other discoveries that totally contradict this narrative and uh, they don't want to give it up. Like for example, there are uh, theories about uh, pyramids, but now they have discovered that hey, there are pyramids everywhere. The, well, the, if there are pyramids everywhere, then there must have been a civilization uh, that existed 12, 13,000 years ago that built these pyramids everywhere. And then hey, they are all uh, connected. They seem to have the same kind of writings and technology. The buildings they look similar. And then oh my God, uh, uh, the, these pyramids had a f another function. They, they could have been uh, power generating stations. They are not really burial sites. And it's just on and on because of the internet and because people are getting interconnected all these discoveries that uh, uh, totally contradict uh, our uh, world view and uh, they were suppressed uh, makes you makes you wonder i think another reason that the, the many governments they they suppress these discoveries or these technologies is because if uh, humans humanity they they figure out, hey, we can make uh, anti-gravity discs. We don't have to use the airplanes. We don't need Boeing or we don't need these technologies. And hey, uh, if we make these, then why are we bound here? What we could be uh, living on the moon. Uh, uh, then uh, it just uh, shows that the, the, the extreme uh, control that the different governments have and their population and they, they want to continue to exist because uh, such technologies they're, they're very uh, democratic and very decentralizing and uh, the population that has become so decentralized is, uh, is, is almost impossible to govern or to control. The, I saw uh, in uh, Iranian newspaper, I still read it <coughs> at Talad, and uh, they were saying that uh, Rouhani. Uh, I don't want to criticize him too much, but he, he was saying that he's uncomfortable with uh, uh, 
uh, subjects or ideas that are uh, uh, like about Erfani or uh, scientific. Erfani means like spiritual, but in a sense that like if you had a spiritual experience, you come out and tell it. Or stuff that's like uh, family, but uh, it uh, shows uh, uh, other aspects of your uh, life, like uh, uh, sensual attraction or, or uh, somebody's in love with somebody else. He was like, I'm uncomfortable with this topic. It shouldn't be in the open. It shouldn't be in the, uh, when everybody can know, hey, well, uh, I, I, when I explained another uh, situation, I went to a, like a yearly uh, celebration, Sufi celebration, and I had, I have a pretty crappy camera. You can see the quality is not that great, but I took some uh, videos of the uh, people dancing and there's music, <coughs> and there was a big dinner, and I, I tied to some old friends. So what I did is just uploaded these videos, uh, and then, but there was a reaction in the in the temple, and some people would give very like uh, jittery. Uh, how, how is this possible? Like, uh, uh, but and also in the in the celebration there were like many people that have camcorders. And I bet that their camcorders record videos. Ten times better than uh, mine would ever, but what I did is uh, like put it, put this stuff out in the open. This, I, I don't have anything to hide. I mean, I, I'm in the celebration. I am Sufi and I'm Muslim, and uh, oh, <laughs> I'm putting this out. Uh, uh, you know, they can be public domain, but uh, uh, there's this tendency to shy away from. Uh, anything and hide it and uh, when uh, somebody else a younger person wants to study these topics or see what's actually happening politically in the place they are like in a fog or, you know, what who is the real player who's the real politician who's pulling the strings or who's the bad guy who's the good guy you know they kind of puzzling uh, uh, but this is in fact totally not what the religion of Islam or even Christianity teaches. In the religion of Islam, there is absolutely no secrets. Like, uh, for example, uh, if I dig into the Wikipedia, uh, I could uh, dig out the uh, Imam Hussein's uh, name of his wives uh, and uh, the exact name, uh, or I could dig out. Uh, Prophet Muhammad's uh, um, wives or uh, his business partners or uh, uh, who was the most favorite uh, girlfriend he had and <laughs> or what if somebody discovers my who I really like uh, who's my girlfriend and uh, so why is this information uh, should be hidden, should be uh, suppressed. Well, it doesn't make any sense. And also, when uh, somebody puts their spiritual experiences, you know, what happened, this is how you feel, this is how uh, the experience is, it, it is like public service. It's like, uh, what, what if somebody else had this experience and they can't figure out, hey, why did this happen? Like there is a lot of phenomena, like uh, remote viewing. Uh, I had like one or two that I uh, mentioned in my, uh, you know, psychic predictions that hey, this can happen. You know, uh, this happened to me, and if I, it happens to you, this is what remote viewing is really like. And uh, well, wh why should I suppress this information? Why should I? Uh, uh, what if somebody? didn't like this thing, he thought I, I'm a complete fraud <laughs> or, uh, or or didn't think that this phenomena can even exist and then was very critical of it or well, they could leave comments and say whatever they want but that shouldn't stop me from uh, expressing this phenomena of what happened 
uh, it's uh, like a pretext for other people who, who, who had this experience. But then uh, on the uh, internet we discover like uh, some people are doing it right now with regular telescopes, uh, very expensive telescopes. They, they can actually look at the moon and say, hey, there, there's all these structures. There is a uh, there is lights over there. There is uh, UFOs going from place to place, like airlines. Uh, well, I see some building. I see uh, towers. I see uh, uh, poles sticking out of the uh, ground. Hey, I see objects that are uh, floating on top of the surface. Uh, uh, hey, I see like uh, uh, domes here and there. They, they don't look uh, like a mountain. They, they, they look like somebody built it. Hey, some of the don't seem to have been bombarded and broken. I see the pieces and la la la. Uh, well, it has been like how many years? It has been like 60 years, 50 years. And the NASA knew all this stuff. But then uh, now we are seeing videos uh, about Mars anomalies. And th th there are so many anomalies there. You cannot even deny that. Hey, there is ex existing or uh, or existed civilizations, but then uh, on the official N NASA uh, website, you see all these robots that are being sent to Mars. That they're they're just you know, ju just making a preliminary test to see this bacteria on the floor. I, I I think there was another robot that went there and was just digging into the ground to see a very pre preliminary analysis to see if there is a biological activity. But then at the same time, we are seeing all these anomalies. I think I saw some videos that, that showed the animals, uh, 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 critters on, on, the, uh, on Mars. <laughs> well, then if, if I'm seeing animals there or creatures, then why do I need to make a preliminary analysis? Why can't I just publicize what I already found? Hey, there is something. There, is, there might even be margins. I, actually, I saw a picture uh, that looked like uh, the, uh, the margins were uh, protesting, saying, Yankee, go home. <laughs> I haven't been able to find that picture. But, uh, hey, uh, Mars could be uh, one of the, those places that, like Afghanistan, where there is a U.S. presence that's not very much welcome. Uh, well, I find these, uh, these uh, new discoveries and the fact that I, as a member of the public, can, can get access to it and study them uh, very interesting, very valuable. I, I, in, in fact, if uh, many governments decide to release these artifacts, the, to release these treasures, then uh, that could be a very, uh, uh, very uh, much change our civilization. Uh, I could make a, a, like a Disneyland with all these artifacts from extraterrestrials and uh, charge a good penny for them. Well, uh, there is another series I'm trying to uh, watch now on Hulu. It's called Ancient Aliens. And uh, there is a... I, I can't believe that these uh, these creatures, they had gone through some kind of time travel and they went into our past and built the structures and uh, civilizations because they were trying to change our times. This, this stuff just blows my mind and I went through uh, graduate school and it was the, all the material was so dead and uh, so uh, so repressed uh, I wonder if I went through a uh, school uh, that allowed this material how would my experience be I probably would still be studying uh, a PhD, but I don't need those guys anymore. They're they're, they're too stupid. They, they suppress everything and use everything for uh, military uh, superiority over other nations. And uh, I don't know. 
Well, thank you for being in my YouTube channel. Uh, please subscribe and uh, make sure you leave your comments.